Welcome to the Rotary in Action podcast. We are here at Expo 2020 in the Rotary Majlis of Friendship. This is an establishment that was sponsored by the Association of Rotary Clubs of the UAE with the objective of bringing together Rotarians from all over the world to come together to share the spirit of giving. The Rotary in Action podcast has seen fantastic guests in the past with, and our objective is to really bring on change makers and visionaries with a mindset of giving more than they get. And today we have a very special guest with us. Rashid Al Muhtadi is a proud member of the Rotary Club of Bardubai. He is passionate about connecting the world of sports and philanthropy through Al Jalila Foundation, where he serves as the manager of partnerships and sustainability. Al Jalila Foundation is a non profit medical and healthcare philanthropic organization that was founded by His Highness. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai. Al Jalila Foundation supports medical treatment for individuals unable to afford quality healthcare. They are currently in the process of building a cancer charity hospital which focuses on treatment of every category of cancer. This will be the first comprehensive cancer charity hospital in the UAE. Absolutely. Thank you for joining us, Rashid. It's such a privilege to have you in the Rotary in Action podcast. Thank you so much, David. This is a lovely setup and I honestly think uh, you're going to take this podcast into great places, bringing all these visionaries and change makers on board. So uh, proud to be part of it. Thank you so much. You know what? I want to find out a little bit more about who you are. What is your background before you joined Al Jalila Foundation? Absolutely. So uh, thank you for the, for the introduction. Uh, so my name is Rashid Al Muhtadi. I'm an Emirati national. I, uh, I'm 32 years old. I uh, currently work at Al Jalila Foundation, uh, as you mentioned in the partnerships and sustainability team, uh, where I help uh, grow different initiatives and bring in new partners. Fantastic. And what, what were you involved in before you joined Jalila Foundation? So. Um, I did my undergrad studies in London, uh, where I specialized in international business and finance. Uh, I was fortunate enough to enroll in a dual degree program that they offered at the time, uh, whereby I had uh, a double bachelor's, uh, both in international business and finance. Um, after my studies in London, I came back to Dubai and worked for my first company, uh, Emirates NBD. Uh, I served there as a manager in funds and distribution, where I handled uh, different channels, both on the retail side, investment channels on the retail side, uh, and on the uh, institutional side. Yeah, I, I spent almost nine years there at Amherst MBD, and it's, uh, it was one of the um, longer uh, sort of stints in my career, and I'm very grateful to have had that, uh, that job, for sure. What drew you to another part of the world of finance, which is the giving part, the foundation part. What draw you, drew you <laughs> Absolutely. to here? I was always into um, connecting people and, and finding ways to giving back to the community. Uh, I think, um, you know, before CSR became such a big impact after the pandemic, I always wanted to find ways to contribute, to connect people and um, to support certain causes uh, that were near and dear to me. Um, so, you know, at this part of my job, the, the return on investment is, is much higher, uh, in my opinion, uh, where I help, you know, raise funds and awareness for certain causes and programs. We're keeping that in mind. Uh, the, one of the things that I really want to understand is from what I understand about Emiratis, they have a heart for service. They always give back to the community and leading up to that, I want to ask you about the Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum global initiatives. Can you tell me a little bit about what you know about it? Absolutely. So uh, the MBRGI or Mohammed Barashid Global Initiatives is a philanthropic foundation uh, that consists of over 30 initiatives. Uh, they focus on five pillars of which we fall under the uh, healthcare and disease control pillar. So our foundation sits uh, under that pillar. So you're a part of Al Jalila Foundation and you shifted over because of the good work that and the potential that this foundation has. and I understand that there's a treatment program that provides financial medical assistance to UAE-based patients in need. 
Can you explain about this project? Absolutely. So, so Awen is part of our treatment pillar. Uh, and what we do is we provide a medical, uh, we provide financial assistance for patients in need of medical uh, treatment. For free? Absolutely. So the word Awen in Arabic means support. Um, they can simply reach out to us and apply for the treatment program, Awen. Uh, there's a few basic criteria they have to meet. Just provide us with some basic documents, bank statements, uh, and prove to us that they can't financially afford the particular treatment that they're after. And the turnaround time is generally very short. We get back to them and uh, Alhamdulillah, we've treated um, almost 300 cases last year. That's really, really wonderful because um, I've seen WhatsApp messages and forwards of this person in this hospital needs help. Uh, can we, can the community come together? So are you looking for those kind of messages? And um, how, do, how do you get this information about patients who need this help? So our treatment uh, program, Awan, is available for all uh, residents in the UAE of all nationalities. And uh, as I mentioned, we, we have different, uh, you know, marketing campaigns that we do to get the message out there. Uh, and for those that uh, haven't heard of the program, maybe they can now on your, on your show and, and hear about it. Um, but definitely our program is available for all residents uh, in the UAE and, uh, and we cover their, their financial uh, treatment. Um, how far do you go with supporting if it's a serious, serious case? So, so for, for insured patients, sometimes um, we partially cover uh, their treatment. If they're missing out on 20, 30% of their treatment, we cover the remainder. Uh, for some uninsured patients, we cover 100% of the treatment. So it varies case to case. That's a big blessing and it, it'll be a great news for people in need. Absolutely. I hope it, I hope we can find 3000 more, you know, because I know there are people in need in the hospitals. The main project from the Al Jalila Foundation, which is upcoming, is the Hamdan bin Rashid Cancer Charity Hospital. Can you tell me about how this idea started, where it is now and what is the path forward? Absolutely. So this project initially started as a general charity hospital. The idea was to, to have a general charity hospital in the UAE. However, after sitting with our consultants and speaking with them, they advised us to take the specialized route, to make it a specialized uh, charity hospital as it has a higher rate of uh, success abroad. Uh, after reviewing our Awan uh, patients and seeing what, ca what causes, uh, what diseases uh, are uh, prominent uh, within the patients that we receive, we noticed that one in six patients uh, are suffering from cancer. Uh, you know, our treatment budget, a, a big chunk of the treatment budget and, and research budget goes towards cancer. We then reviewed the numbers uh, in the UAE and saw that, you know, four and a half thousand new cases of cancer uh, are, are coming up every year in the country. Um, and it is the third uh, leading cause of death in the UAE as well, unfortunately. Uh, all uh, arrows pointed towards um, cancer as a disease to be specialized in. And uh, we took this forward and with the blessing of uh, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed Barashid al Maktoum, we uh, proceeded and, and started with the planning. Uh, the hospital was then given the name uh, Hamdan bin Rashid, may he rest in peace, after the late uh, Sheikh Hamdan bin Rashid al Maktoum. And initially, the project was designed to start in three phases uh, phase one being 50 beds, phase two, 150, and phase three, 250. But having uh, visionary leaders like His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid, we have um, always long-term thinking uh, as part of our objectives. And he green-lighted it to start at two, 250 bed hospitals, having a vision for the future and to handle a capacity of, of more patients and to be able to treat more patients. The objective, inshallah, is to be able to treat with 250 beds, uh, almost 30,000 patients a year, inshallah. So, with a bigger uh, uh, project and 250 bed also, we needed a bigger plot of land and His Highness granted us uh, 50,000 square uh, meters of uh, land in Al Jaddaf, which is uh, healthcare city phase two. Inshallah, we plan to start groundbreaking in Q3 of this year and uh, the hospital should be up and running uh, in 2024, God willing. And Alhamdulillah with the help uh, of our circle of trustees, our foundation managed to raise 350 million dirhams out of an expected 750 million. And we look uh, forward to closing in on that number, inshallah, uh, very soon.
So for the Cancer Charity Hospital, the main core um, sort of uh, pillars around the hospital is research, or the core uh, support system around the, the, the hospital is the research because we have the um, sort of advantage of having our Mohammed bin Rashid Medical Research Institute, which you visited, um, as sort of as, as a supportive system to the hospital so we can do our clinical trials uh, over there at our at our research uh, facility this will definitely help um, for with the cancer charity hospital as research is a uh, you know integral part of of any uh, success of a hospital i i, I visited this lab uh, which is on the topmost floor of the building yes and it's absolutely pristine and it's absolutely. it's unlike any other lab i've seen yes absolutely and um, so what kind of what is the objective of this you know, at so, the moment so, so one of the objectives of our foundation david is to put the uae at the forefront uh, of medical innovation and it's with you know projects like these that our foundation aspires to 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 achieve that inshallah another huge benefit to having a comprehensive uh, cancer hospital in the uae is that uh, you know, cancer is a tiresome disease uh, as it is, uh, and we don't want to add more uh, pressure on patients. We don't, and this is a solution that we want to provide them, which is sort of a one-stop shop to have all their treatment done there. And it won't just be for treatment, it's for diagnosis, for uh, prevention. The hospital is going to be a fully comprehensive um, hospital for, for, for cancer patients. It's going to be a fully comprehensive care uh, hospital. So this is an additional reason uh, of, of how it's very important for, for us to have this hospital here in the UAE and why it would be the first comprehensive care charity uh, hospital uh, in, the, in, in the country. How can a common man make donations toward this foundation and be a part of this hospital that's coming up? So we're a very uh, easygoing, approachable foundation today. If you go on our website and, and uh, find the different causes or programs that you want to support, you can just click on, on, on the cause you want to support. Uh, what program you want to donate towards, uh, select the method of payment, and that's about it. Very, very easy to, to, to do that. How has the donations been so far? We wanted to find a way to give recognition to our donors and to continuously support the research because research as part of our pillars is very important uh, in our foundation. So we found a way to, to, to give them that recognition through uh, building the first of its kind donor recognition wall that uses AI technology. Um, we called it Basmat Rashid bin Said. Uh, Basma means fingerprint in Arabic, and uh, Sheikh Rashid bin Said, may he rest in peace, was the vice president uh, and ruler of Dubai. Um, he was very well known for his philanthropic efforts and his charitable uh, nature, and so we named it in his uh, honor and his memory. Uh, this wall has a robotic arm. Uh, attached to it and it has an inbuilt camera within that robotic arm. Now the arm laser engraves the donor's name onto the wall upon making the donation online and the camera records the name as it's being engraved and sends it to the donor's email after engraving it uh, as a memento video and a memory for him to have if he's not uh, physically able to come and see his name uh, on the wall. So Rashid, from the little time that I've got to know you, I know that you are super passionate about sports and you are very involved in the philanthropic area in UAE. Can you help me understand your vision to bring these two worlds together at Al Jalila Foundation? Yes, for sure. So sports and philanthropy go hand in hand. Uh, as we discussed, David, you know, it's a sort of match made in heaven, in my opinion. And today, athletes have a platform where they can raise awareness about certain causes, uh, or uh, voice out certain concerns that we're facing uh, in society today. And this platform is um, perfect to raise um, awareness about certain initiatives, programs that foundations are working on. Um, we see that already in different uh, matches, football matches, for example, you have ahead of the match, uh, different color armbands are worn by football players to represent certain causes, be it cancer, diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, mental health. Uh, you have charity matches for boxing, in MMA, in MMA, in, in UFC, for example, you have uh, after the fight, a fighter donates a signed glove or uh, his shirt towards a specific foundation to support, to support a, a cause. 
And uh, I think our foundation realized that and we're, we're, we're getting uh, to explore this area more. And thankfully last year we appointed uh, our official sports ambassador, uh, ex-Real uh, Madrid uh, football player and legend, uh, Michel Salgado, who will be representing our foundation as, a, as our official sports ambassador. And he'll help us navigate these waters and, and guide us towards you know, better connecting um, our causes, our programs, and how we can get these initiatives uh, more connected into these different events and different sports. We recently also had a visit from legendary MMA coach Javier Mendez, who coached UFC legend uh, Habib Nurmagomedov. And, uh, you know, he visited us and had so many ideas of ways that we can collaborate, initiatives we can work on together, and was very helpful and supportive of our, of our foundation and uh, is backing us, uh, or, or is in our corner rather, as, as our coach uh, as well for, for our foundation and uh, has given us so many different ideas and, and um, and opportunities that we can explore, inshallah, in the very near future. So we absolutely look forward to, um, to gaining more awareness, more information of how to better uh, use this connection between uh, sports and philanthropy for our foundation to promote our, our programs and our initiatives and to reach our, our goals, inshallah. So Rashid, during your educational period, do you think there were any moments in time that really made you turn around and look and say, I've grown, I've turned into a better person? Have you, do you have any instances in time that has made you look back and say, wow, this really changed me? Absolutely. So I always say this, you know, the, the, I, I personally think the UAE's best investment it's made in its citizens um, is putting us in this military service together um, because it's taught us so much, you know, from from patience, you know, perseverance, uh, tolerance. It's taken us um, completely by surprise. And I think uh, it's the one way that we were able to gather, you know, people from Ras Al Khaimah, from Sharjah, Um Al Quwain, Fujairah, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, uh, Ajman, all these different Emirates and bring them all into sort of one <laughs> area and just be faced with each other, different, you know, cultures, different uh, backgrounds, different schooling, different education, different walks of life. And it really um, brought us very close together. Um, what was your first week like? Very grueling, very tough. Tell me about uh, it. Absolutely. I mean, you know, it's divided into different phases. I'm fortunate enough to have served uh, in 2015 where the duration was nine months. It's currently one year and six months. So, uh, <laughs> I think I got the, the better end of that deal. Um, but you, you make, you make, uh, you know, you make friendships for life there. You know, I think, um, I think this is the, the best achievement, um, from this service, you know, other than learning, you know, the patience and the toughness and obviously the, the military acumen that, that, that we acquired there, uh, or know how, but it's the, um, you know, the friendships, the, the brotherhood that that's made there that I think lasts an eternity. Um, Where do you think you will be in five years with regard to your involvement with Al Jalila Foundation? I want to be part of uh, the growth of this foundation, inshallah. So Al Jalila Foundation focuses on transforming lives. That is what I want to focus on doing for, for the next five years, definitely, is help, help transform lives whichever way I can, whether it be through raising awareness for our programs, uh, partnering with different companies for different campaigns uh, through the sports element of it uh, and linking that with philanthropy, uh, whichever way I think is, is uh, definitely part of my goals is to, to be part of the process, seeing this foundation accomplish its goals. And uh, we're very blessed you know, to be living in a country like this again with, with the leadership that we have. And uh, we have... Uh, you know, role models uh, all around us. And uh, inshallah, I, I aspire to, to, to see that, uh, to see this foundation achieve its, its full potential and uh, be part of it. If you would like to give the audience, the, mem the general public of the UAE, a message from Al Jalila Foundation, what would that message be? Uh, you know, support our foundation, learn about the causes uh, that, that we support, our programs, 
um, you know, be just to be aware of, of what we do. Uh, that that's the key message is to get across what we do as a foundation. You know, yes, yeah, support support our foundation, support our causes, help us uh, tackle these these uh, issues, and uh, be part of the journey. Excellent. Thank you so much for joining the Rotary sure. in Action podcast. Thank you so much. You have our wholehearted support from Rotary International towards your foundation. Thank, Thank you. you so it's much. a pleasure being here. Thank, Thank you, you, David. Thank you. Pleasure being here.